Welcome to Vanadium. I'm Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. Condensed matter physics has been a flutter for the past few years about a daring new concept. The term time crystal is a bit deceptive at first. It's not a solid composed of time itself. Time, the essence of the perceivable universe, has not yet become something we can build things out of. As fascinating as that sounds, a time crystal is actually even stranger and more interesting. Before we bring in a confusing concept like time into the mix, I think it would be helpful to go over exactly what a crystal is. It was the idea of crystals that got me into material science in the first place. So what is a crystal? What's the story behind this ancient, sometimes seemingly mystical concept? A crystal is a repeating structure in space with predictable coordinates for the constituent parts or the atoms making up the crystalline material. A table salt crystal is made up of a repeating 3D checkerboard of sodium and chlorine atoms. Metals are mostly crystalline as well, just like the mineral crystals you find in caves. What makes a crystal a crystal is an orderly arrangement of atoms, connected and spaced out evenly. Liquids, glasses, and gases are progressively less ordered than crystals in the way they're put together. A crystal is organized, periodic, with defined edges and facets. When the crystal melts, the system goes from ordered to disordered. Diamonds are a good example of carbon crystals. A simple, organized, Lego-style stack of carbon atoms results in a striking, transparent crystal. Very different than when the solid carbon is put together irregularly, like the way it is in soot, for instance. So, to sum things up, a traditional crystal is a group of atoms arranged neatly across a set span of space or a volume. But what if you had the atoms organized not across space, but across time instead? The atoms, or crystal elements, would be neatly stacked in time, rather than in space. In other words, a time crystal would appear moving and disordered, with the atoms only falling into the right places at certain intervals of time, periodically. This would be a very strange material indeed. In a way, a time crystal isn't always a crystal. It beats into a repeating structure before falling back into chaos before beating back into structure again. These strange crystals switch back and forth like this forever. Even near zero temperature in the absence of kinetic energy, the time crystal is always in motion. However, time crystals are not perpetual motion machines because the energy of motion in the crystals can't be exchanged with the outside environment or used for work. The motion of the atoms or elements of a time crystal doesn't correspond to motion the way we conventionally conceive it. The system, the time crystal, cannot lose energy to the environment and come to rest because it's already in its quantum ground state. It's already at rest. Because of this, the motion of the particles does not really represent kinetic energy like other motion. Time crystals demonstrate the mind-boggling property of motion without energy. Time crystals are also the first objects to spontaneously break time translation symmetry. This is the rule that a stable object will remain the same throughout time. A time crystal is both stable and unstable, permanent but ever-changing in its state. Time crystals were first proposed theoretically by the famous Frank Wilczek in 2012. Wilczek, born in 51, is an American theoretical physicist, mathematician, and a Nobel laureate. He's currently a professor of physics at MIT. He proposed time crystals as a time-based analog to common crystals, whose atoms are arranged periodically in space. So the traditional crystals most of us are familiar with could actually be referred to as space crystals. A time crystal. It seems like the most far out an idea can get. It's difficult to even put your finger on exactly what time is. It's a slippery idea. Time may be more related to our perception of existence rather than a core building block of reality. Time is a component quantity of virtually every measurement used across just about every technical discipline. Time is often referred to as the fourth dimension, along with the three spatial dimensions. From the beginning, time has been an important subject of study in religion, 
philosophy, and the sciences. But defining it in a useful manner, without circularity, has consistently challenged scholars. The operational definition of time does not address its fundamental nature. It does not help to answer why events can happen forward and backwards in space, but only forward in time. Frank Wilczek first brought up time crystals in 2012. In 2013, Zhang Zhang, an engineer at the University of California, Berkeley, and his team proposed creating a time crystal in the form of a constantly rotating ring of charged ions. Later, in October 2016, Christopher Monroe at the University of Maryland claimed to have created the first discrete time crystal in the world. His team trapped a chain of ytterbium atoms in a special trap confined by electromagnetic fields. In July 2021, just last month, a collaboration consisting of Google engineers and physicists from multiple universities reported the observation of a discrete time crystal. This particular experiment didn't rely on a physical, tangible crystal at all. Instead, the scientists assembled a crystal in the imagination of one of Google's powerful supercomputers. The computer essentially daydreamed of time crystals all day and performed something like a CGI experiment to get the data. It may seem like time crystals are breaking more than one natural law. However, time crystals do not violate the laws of thermodynamics. Energy is not being created or destroyed. Such a crystal cannot serve as a perpetual store of work, but it may change perpetually in a fixed pattern in time for as long as the system exists. The movement in a time crystal does not represent conventional kinetic energy, a whole new way of thinking about matter and time. This is motion without energy. It seems wrong at first, but the results keep coming in teaching scientists and the rest of humankind something fascinating and counterintuitive. A time crystal is both stable and unstable, permanent but ever-changing. This new discovery challenges the way we see the world and has only happened fairly recently. This is why I love science so much. It's the surprises. Thank you very much. This is Chris Rankin with Vanadium.